guys, welcome back to my channel. So this time we're going to start with the brows. And first I'm going to go in with my Benefit Cabral. I'm in the shade 03. This is a sample size from Sephora. Going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 brush, I'm going to brush all my hairs. And now going in with the Benefit Cabral, I'm going to use the brush that they provide within the product. And I'm going to first just dip it in the way that it's supposed to. And I'm going to start at the bottom of my brow and then work my way up to the arch. I really don't like gel products in my brows. I think it looks really strong on me. But surprisingly, this one was very good and I really liked it. So now I'm just going to brush my hairs again. And then I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Setting Gel. And this is just going to go directly on my hairs, brushing them upwards, making sure that no hairs are downwards. Now I decided to go in with my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo. I'm in the shade Soft Brown. I'm just going to take the same Anastasia brush into the darker shade and apply this directly onto my arc to make it a lot more defined. And then I do a little brow dance. And then just to clean up my brows, I use the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. This is the Delium Tools 934 brush. It is absolutely my favorite brush. What I like doing is just cleaning under my brow and just brushing it gently downwards to make sure that it will blend with the shade that we're going to cover our veins and our pigmented lids. So now I'm just a little bit covering the tail of the brow I don't really define it that much but just a little bit to make it look a little bit sharper and a lot cleaner than what I did so just cleaning up to fix the pigmentation on my eyes I'm gonna go in with MAC soft ochre pro longwear paint pot this is just going to even out the skin tone so we have a very beautifully clean slate. I'm using the Bare Minerals Max Coverage Concealer Brush. Now I'm going to go in with the Tarte Smooth Operator all over the lids. I believe I got this little guy in the Ipsy bag, in one of my Ipsy bags, I'm not sure which month. But I definitely think it was one of my Ipsy bags. And I'm just going to buff this in all the way from the inner corner all the way to the endings of my lids. Just to make sure that everything is set and ready to go. And now for the star of the show. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Eyeshadow Palette. It just came out this month. It is absolutely beautiful and stunning in every way. I fell in love with it as soon as I opened it. So I just wanted to show you guys this. This is the Veramona Color Switch Duo. And basically you just rub in your brush and it cleans it completely and it's amazing. So first shade I'm going into is Burnt Orange. I'm taking this with a Morphe M330. And I'm just buffing this all over the crease and just pretty much all over sloppily. It's meant for my transition color. And it doesn't make a big difference, but during the blending process, it will. Now I'm going in with Scone Cosmetics Luxe Doubler Eye and Lip Pencil. This is in the shade 18 Wine. I'm going to trace out exactly where I want my cut crease to begin going upwards. So I'm just making this a little bit above my natural crease. Now I'm going to take my Morphe M165 into the shade Love Letter, which is the exact same shade as the lip pencil, lip and eye pencil. So now we're just going to start shading upwards. It's a lot of blending and it just takes some time, but in the end it does come out looking nice. Now going in with the Morphe E36, it's just a bit thicker and a lot stronger as a brush and it's just going to help with the blending process. Now I'm going to take my Morphe M169 and this is just going to be a clean brush and we're just going to further blend all that shade that we put up on top just to make sure that it blends nicely and doesn't look as harsh as the left eye does. 
So blend, blend, blend. Just going back in with the pencil to sharpen up that edge and then I'm going to take the same brush into burnt orange and just further blend everything, make it look all seamless. Now I'm going to take my Sigma E58 and I'm going to go into the shade Blonde Fresco and this is going to be all over our lids and this is just a very pretty lavender matte shade and it's perfect for this look. Now going in with the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art in the shade Desert Dazzle, I'm going to line directly under the cut crease just to add a little bit of sparkle in it. This is by far my favorite eyeliner on earth. This is the NYC Liquid Liner in the shade Blackest Black. It is the best eyeliner from the drugstore. It is legit $2 and it's amazing. For mascara, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and I'm just gonna prep my lashes for false lashes. <laughs> So for lashes, I'm going to go in with Cake Face Beauty Lashes. I love these lashes. This is in the style Sophisticated. I'm using the Duo Adhesive for false lashes, and I love this glue. I love these lashes. Perfect combination. Now for primer all over the face, I'm going to go in with Spackle from Loa Geller. This is a very hydrating primer. And now for my T-zone, I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer in the mattifying one. This really helps my T-zone. For foundation, I'm going to go in with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I'm just going to apply this all over my face. This is an amazing foundation. I absolutely love the consistency. It's like a matte, dewy finish on me, and I have oily skin. So now I'm going to go in with my Morphe M439 and some MAC Fix Plus just to make it easier on just buffing it all in. So now for concealer, I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer in the shade Y31. This is going to conceal and highlight my face. I know that right now my foundation looks a bit too bright for me, but that's actually how I prefer my foundations. I like them to be a little bit brighter and for me to put color back into my face with powders. So to set under the eyes, I'm going in with my RCMA No Color Powder. This is awesome powder. And now to put color back into my face, I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Foundation Powder or Powder Foundation in the shade 230. This is awesome powder foundation. I actually found out the real price. It's $5 and it's awesome. So now to bring them cheekbones out, I'm going to use my favorite Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm going in with that middle shade, which is legit crying right now because I hit pan. And I'm using the Vasanti Blush Brush in number 7. I love this brush. For blush, I'm going into Hot Makeup's Red Carpet Ready Blush in the shade Joyful. It is so beautiful. I'm going to use the Morphe E31, and this is just an awesome blush brush. And I'm just going to pat this on the apples of my cheek and just feather it outwards on my face so it can meet that contour. Highlight, I'm going to use the Violet Voss Highlighting Powder. Going in with my Luxie 522 brush, I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones. And for uh, the under eyes, I'm just going to buff in Love Letter all across my bottom lash line. So for lips, I'm going to go in with Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Gravity. I absolutely love this shade. It is between a plum gray purplish. It has those purple tones, but is very muted down like a cold shade. So I absolutely love this lipstick and the long wear of it is amazing. Okay guys, so that's the finished look. I absolutely love the way it came out. I love the way the eyes and the lips coincide with each other. So if you guys liked it as much as I loved making it, I hope you guys can give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and make sure you comment below what you guys would like to see in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!